take it away, Bones. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very much. Have you played Leicester before? Yeah, we have. Uh, we've played The Musician. Yeah. And we've played Summer Sunday Festival. Yeah. Which uh, we hold very fondly in our hearts, don't yeah, we? Definitely. Good, yeah, definitely. It was a good, really good gig, yeah. yeah, we're so sad that it's not on this year. I mean, Handmaid's kind of filled the gap in that sense. Yeah. Summer Sunday. How's it being in the city rather than out in the field? Yeah, it's been actually good weather. We've yeah. checked, First checked time, out some yeah. of the bars. The yeah. orange tree wouldn't let us in. They said no groups, and we were, it was a bit, a bit taken, <laughs> really? taken back by that. Yeah. It's like, well, surely there must be some kind of bench in there that needs filling. <laughs> but, uh, that is yeah. yeah, but apart from that, no, we've had a lovely little walk around the high street and stuff. Yeah, it's been all right, isn't it? Cathedral and. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, taking in more than we thought we would. Um, so your album, Out of Touch in the Wild, was released a huge success this year. Um, what's been your highlight of the year so far? Probably, um, but we did another tour in February. Yeah. Um, and the last date was at Gorilla in Manchester. Yeah. Um, so it was the homecoming show for us, and it was yeah the biggest headline show we'd done in Manchester. So for the, you know, that's probably my highlight. Cool. Just yeah. a really good way to top off the tour and just, you know set the ball rolling for the rest of the year yeah. as far as the campaign was going. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I could pick a highlight just yet because I mean, I mean the arms have been out for three months and it's kind of, yeah I guess ours would be, mine would be the same really, you know, yeah. kind of breaking another record at, in your hometown, that's always fun. Yeah. But then again, our, our Scala show in London at the Scala, that was, that was a good gig. Cool. Yeah, that was, that was even bigger, wasn't it? Fun. Big yeah. gigs. <laughs> So I imagine you get asked this a lot, but where did the name Dutch Uncles come from? Uh, it was it was a name of a band that I was in before I met the other four. Yeah. And so basically, it's named after a play, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, and the, the name was just taken from a book in a bookcase that turned out to be a play. Yeah. And basically, we were called something else in college that was utterly crap really Can yeah you tell me? yeah we were called the headlines <laughs> oh. and you know you, you, you start a band when you're 17 and that's yeah. but, but we always know. knew it was a rubbish yeah, we, name. we knew it was yeah. rubbish from the start but we weren't bothered about the name we were bothered about making songs it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy tonight you are headlining <laughs> yeah well, no, 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 no. it wasn't like that we were never the headliners yeah. there was another band called that and we oh. always got confused with like people always thought we were them it's like no 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 we're just the headlines we're not even that yeah. you know we're not even that witty <laughs> and uh, yeah, and basically after, I don't know, what was it, four years or whatever, like, still having that name, just getting really depressed with it, we just could never be bothered to change it. And yeah. then we couldn't think of anything. When we started writing Dutch Uncle's m material, and we knew we needed to change the name, we couldn't, we, we didn't want to pin the music down again. So uh, luckily, an old idea came back and it kind of worked. Put an S on it. Yeah. Gang mentality. Slightly more interesting name. Yeah. yeah. It felt like good word association at the time. <laughs> A bit more interesting than a lot of the band names you see. Yeah, like, it is definitely. Yeah. That's why I asked. You know, a lot, a lot more intriguing. Yeah. Um, so Duncan, you've become known for your dancing in Slightly. the video flexing. Oh yes. Um, do you just have the moves, or have you are you trained for years <laughs> to get to this stage? <laughs> there, there maybe was some training. I've never been afraid of the dance floor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I always think when I've been asked this question before I, I, I kind of always think that like kind of the idea for the dancing is, must have come from watching Michael Jackson's Moonwalker film a lot yeah. as a kid like a lot <laughs> and uh, and I didn't even you know yeah that's just where I've probably taken it from and and obviously I think the music's always been quite jerky and quite you know complicated and I have always felt as if the dancing was literally an interpretation of the music, you know, yeah. I wasn't trying to be Ian Curtis or anything daft like that, although yeah. I, I will admit, when you're wearing a grey shirt, 
there are going to be similarities. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, there was cool. a point when we were all sort of dancing our individual parts. Oh, yeah, we were yeah, yeah ronnie has got his knees. Yeah. <laughs> Spet's got his whirlwinds. Yes, yeah, Spet's got his whirlwinds. And <laughs> We've got a signature move. Yeah, Pete's got his big sticks. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, we're all, yeah, yeah. yeah as Robin says, we're all, we're all, you know, kind yeah. of interpreting it our own way, but I've just got all my limbs free. It's the difference. <laughs> what was it like filming that? Was it tiring? Yeah, it was it was horrifyingly sickening actually. Yeah. Uh, a lot of lactic acid going down. <laughs> um, it was about twenty odd takes. Yeah. Uh, just all the way through, and basically I had to keep stopping during the second verse because I was just like I was I could feel myself about to be sick, and I was a bit like, <laughs> is there anything that's good? Anything I should stop doing? And and the director, uh, bless him, I've forgotten his name, but he yeah, did a good job. <laughs> but uh, no, well, no, no, but he was just like. Nah, it's all good. It's just a little camera on the floor, like held up, you know, angled up with a brick. Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking at this tiny thing on the floor, just going, <gasps> like, and he just said, "Yeah, it's all good. Just keep going." Yeah. So you know, I, I, I was very, very nervous about it, you know, because yeah. we've done videos like that before and it never really hasn't worked out. So yeah, well, it's great, and like, like I said, you're kind of known for it, which is good. Yeah. An effect. Well, obviously, at the same time, we're, well, not obviously, but at the same time, we're challenging ourselves by getting smaller and smaller stages to play on, so it's even more impossible yeah. to do the moves. More and more gear. Yeah, yeah. more gear as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, what new bands are you listening to at the moment? What are you into at the moment? Um, fiction. Yeah. I'm from London. We, we, we said, we'd say this in every interview now, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, they're, yeah. They're, they're great. Yeah, yeah. They're... they're the band that like all five of us are yeah. listening to at the moment, and uh, I'm also listening to a fair bit of Stealing Sheep outfit. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Uh, I I keep my I keep my finger on the pulse of uh, with, with the help of Six Music, you know. Yeah. I mean, usually there's things on that, you know. Yeah. This, yeah, like I thought I discovered Stubborn Heart on that. I think yeah, they're 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 pretty good. Yeah. Um, but also some things I don't like, but you know. No point naming them. No, no point naming <laughs> that. Um, but yeah, yeah, don't know what else. Tall Ships, they're playing right below us right now. Yeah. They, they sound all right. Yeah. yeah. What other uh, bands have you seen or are you excited to see tonight? Well, Tall Ships. Yeah. <laughs> at some point, yeah, we'd yeah. like to catch a few of their songs. We, we played with them a couple of years ago at Hop Farm Festival. Yeah. And uh, it's obviously, they've, they've had a very interesting career in that time. Yeah. Like, so it'd be great to see, see the development. Yeah. Uh, so what's coming up for the rest of the year for you guys? Have you got any more festivals this summer? Yeah, we've got quite a few summer festivals coming up. Um, about ten, I think, over, over the next few months, and then a lot of northern festivals. Not so many southern. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's good things like Festival Number no. Six and, and Beacons Festival and Why Not Festival. Uh, yeah, good string of festivals, and uh, we're supporting everything, everything on their tour in October. Oh, wow. And uh, there might be some other things we're waiting for confirmations, but we're hoping to round the year off with our own tour. Yeah. Uh, with the kind of projecting the album the way we thought it would have to be done at some point, which is to say we'll play with a string quintet. Great. Or That's quartet. Exactly you know, great, so yeah. here's some some proper, you know, quite classy shows to go out on, as it were. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully we'll do that. Yeah. Cool. It's pretty exciting. Well, thank you for chatting to us. That's all right. All right. Thanks. Oh, so hot. Oh. Yeah.